Hey, what is up everybody? Today, I want to look at using tools like DAL-E and Midjourney, which are AI generation tools, and see how we can use these tools to make a full-time income online. So odds are you've seen DAL-E and these other AI generation tools and the really cool things that they can create. Today, I wanna to do a deeper dive on an idea that I had in a previous video where I use these tools to generate images for a stock image SaaS slash service. I wanna talk about the actual business plan, get together a go-to-market strategy, and also discuss how this software could potentially eradicate all of the current stock photo websites. So the current business model for all these different stock image sites is to either hire out a designer or a photographer to create all these images or buy licenses for them uh, in order for them to resell them to other people. From there, they sell the image or illustration via a credit system or just a you know, direct purchase or even a monthly subscription. Now, the way iStock Photo does it is it's kind of a mix of all of these. You can buy an image straight up for a flat rate, or you can sign up for a subscription and you get a fixed number of credits per month. There are also tons of free stock image sites out there like Pexels or Pixabay, where they give away a ton of free images. Uh, the way that those sites make money is either by affiliating for a paid stock company. So Pexels, if you go through their site, you'll actually see ads in their content for iStock Photo. So they're getting, you know, a affiliate commission if you go to iStock Photo and you buy pictures from them. Now, the one thing that all of these platforms have in common is that they do not offer exclusive rights to anybody that buys or downloads any of their images. And you can see right here in iStock's photo license agreement, it straight up says that the content that you get or purchase is non-exclusive, meaning that any image that you get can be sold to an infinite number of other people. This means that any image that you buy can show up anywhere else on the web because basically anyone else could have purchased it. So there's nothing unique about any of these images because you're not the full owner of the image and it can be used by anyone else. Now, the reason that all these sites are set up this way is because they just can't create photos, graphics, and illustrations at such a large scale because they require actual human involvement to create all these images. Now, an AI-generated stock photo site would not play by the same rules because you could offer all of your images with exclusive rights because we are not constrained by the human element. We can create a vast number of images very, very easily, very, very quickly with essentially zero cost. This would allow the customers to have a full exclusive license for any image that they get. And it would also be a lot cheaper. And we could offer premium services like creating completely custom images exactly the way that the customer wants. And I think this would give us a huge edge over the existing market. Now you might think that taking this to market would be a big challenge because there's a lot of stock photo sites out there and a lot of them are just giving away images for free. So the game plan in my opinion is to niche down really early on and focus on a very small niche and continue to grow and then expand into other markets as the customer base grows. For example, we could niche down into the construction market for stock photos and basically offer different images and illustrations for construction companies to use in their website or in their advertisements or in their training material or whatever. And then I think what you can do is generate a bunch of free images. So you can give away images for free and that allows the users to actually get exclusive rights for those free images. And this is not something that you see anywhere else on any other stock photo site getting exclusive rights for an image that you receive for free. And so that is a massive benefit over every other site out there. And what we can do in order for an individual or business to get exclusive rights for the free images is just have them sign up and maybe they are limited to, you know, only a certain amount of images per month, like, you know, five or 10 images per month that you get free exclusive rights for. Then once an image is downloaded, it's taken off the market, but we can still show it on our site with like a watermark of either our company or even the, the actual owner since the image 
we would not actually be owned by us anywhere. We have been transferred to the new owner once they downloaded it. But if someone comes to our site and they see that image and they see that it's already been taken by someone else, they can request that a similar image be created. And the cool thing that DAO E can do is you can upload an image and will create visually similar images compared to the first one. And these newly produced images are not just copies of the original, but the way I would describe it is a photographer goes to a park at a certain time of day and takes a bunch of pictures. All of those pictures are different, but they all still have like the same look, feel, landscape, and lighting. So they're the same kind of picture, but they're not exactly the same. And typically, Dali will actually give you four similar images to the original, and so we could we could offer them a pick of whichever one they want, and or we could just give all of them, uh, you know, included or we could take the other three that they don't want and we could put them up on the site for free. There's a lot of different ways that you could go about doing it. And what's great is we can charge a lot less compared to all the other stock photo image companies because we're not really paying hardly anything to get these images created. And so we could easily charge five, 10, $15 instead of $30 or more. And on top of that, the customer gets exactly what they want. I think niching down really early is critical. And I also think that early on, um, if you're just offering free images, you could also just be an affiliate for iStock or some other stock photo company, just the same way that Pexels does it. And then as your revenue increases, you can cut off that affiliate relationship and just sell your own images. So the best place to take this to market is going to be to obviously whatever niche that you decide to go into. So if we were to stick with the construction niche, you might think, oh, well, we'll just go to construction companies. But actually, in reality, we want to look at and take this to construction marketing agencies because these agencies and uh, other freelancers are going to be the ones that are actually creating the things for the construction company. So it's not the construction company that's gonna be using stock photos. It's gonna be the agencies and designers that are creating their websites or creating their ads or creating any kind of content that they have. Those are typically not done by the actual construction company, but done by whatever agency or freelancer is managing their account. So the 5,000 foot overview summary looks something like this. One, Pick a niche that you want to get into and then generate hundreds or even thousands of images using artificial intelligence that would be relevant to the niche. Two, offer those images as exclusive rights so that the owner has a, an exclusive license to that image and then upsell or cross sell other images that are more custom or similar to that original image. Three, market this directly to various agencies that handle the marketing or website creations of these different companies in the niche and offer it as not only a cheaper alternative, but a more custom alternative as well. And then lastly, four, continue to expand in that niche and then expand into different uh, markets as your customer base grows. Now I do have to address the legal elephant in the room, and that is, are these images that are created by artificial intelligence owned by the creator or by someone else? Now, specifically looking at DAL-E, it says in their terms of use that you may use your generations for any legal purpose, including for commercial use. This means that you can sell your rights to your generations that you create, incorporate into the books, website presentations, or otherwise commercialize them. Now, I'm not a lawyer. And this is not legal advice, but just reading through their terms, it sounds like our use of commercializing the images that we create is totally acceptable. Now, I imagine new laws will be created and morphed around this technology as it continues to evolve, but I do see that the original creator of the image or the one that put in the prompt to create the image will retain ownership. So I don't really see this as being a legal issue, but again, I am not a lawyer. So that is all for this video. And if you have any other questions or comments, feel free to drop them below. And if you do decide to actually build this, let me know because I will be your first customer. I'm serious about that. Just let me know if that you build it and I will be your first customer. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.